now. Welcome to LEX 18 News. Now just past 11, I'm Chris Goodman. We're learning more today about the four people killed in a plane crash in Barron County in South Central Kentucky over the weekend. Their names are Doug Whitaker of Somerset, Dr. Kyle Stewart of Somerset, and Scott Foster and his 15-year-old son Noah of Science Hill. That crash happened about 2.30 yesterday afternoon near the community of Fountain Run near Glasgow. Officials say a single engine plane headed for Lake Cumberland Regional Airport in Somerset hit multiple treetops before crashing into a wooded area. Six people now face charges after last week's gunfight in Clark County that left two teenage girls dead. The two people arrested Friday will face a judge this afternoon. Winchester police say 16-year-olds Adriana Castro and Kayla Holland were shot and killed last Tuesday after an argument on East Washington Street. On Wednesday, four people were arrested and charged with their murders. And on Friday, police arrested two more people, Matthew Carmen and Julia Richardson. Both of them are being arraigned today. The man accused of beating a Lexington mom to death appeared in Fayette District Court for a preliminary hearing today. According to his arrest citation, witnesses saw Valenti Ware beat Megan Acord to death with a railroad tie October 1st and then flee the scene. Police say he tried to burn the clothes he was wearing, but investigators found them a few days later. Ware is charged with murder and tampering with evidence. His case will be heard by a grand jury. And join us for LEX 18 News at noon today. We have the latest from Coach Cal as the Cats get ready for a big test early in the season against the Kansas Jayhawks. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast coming up after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. And we have low pressure and a cold front track our way late in your Veterans Day weekend. Did spark some showers, but those are long gone. The last of them went east along with that boundary overnight. So what we're left with is a ridge of high pressure tracking in a northwesterly wind. Uh, some cloud cover hanging around. Clearly, it's been overcast this morning. And uh, as this high builds in, we'll have a brief break from the rain Monday into Tuesday. Uh, with the possibility of more rain tracking our way later this week. This is the rainfall from overnight. Yeah, 107 inch, so it didn't really amount to much. It was more of a nuisance than anything else. And the Max Track still showing a couple of little showers, but you got to go way out into uh, West Virginia to find them, so that moisture continues to work its way east. They've got snow in upstate New York, even that's winding down. So what we're in for, a mostly cloudy afternoon after just a plain old overcast morning. We'll try to get some breaks in those clouds as that drier air continues to work its way in here and uh, into tomorrow more sunshine and temperatures responding only 40s today 50s tomorrow but I'm tracking a number of issues we've got some more active weather on the way you can just start to see the beginning of it by Wednesday morning some showers out to the west I think we'll have a better chance of that getting in here Wednesday night and then you get into Friday we'll have another way of tracking our way with that we just might have some thunderstorms thrown in the mix so we may have some uh, stormy weather to start off the weekend we're in the low 40s now. Again, we'll likely only stay around the upper 40s for highs, some 50s out west where you have a little more sunshine, chillier in our eastern counties. Coming up at noon, we'll talk about the storms for the weekend as well as where we're heading as far as those temperatures go as well.